Special Learning today is sponsored by Ricky and Uri Neumann, in memory of Hodaya Neumann, Hodaya Inat, Bat HaRav Yosef Udvora. To dedicate a day of learning, visit mishnahnekudah.co slash support. We're going to continue talking about certain laws of Mukta, as we'll soon see. But there's also another additional law about Tircha and Shabbat. Says the Mishnah. Let's say I have a store. Well, the Mishnah doesn't say. Let's just start with a little introduction. Let's say I have a storehouse full of wheat or full of grain, and I want to move it in order to use the space to have, I don't know, a bar mitzvah, to learn, to have a shear or whatever I want to do. So says the Mishnah. Mifanim afilu arba v'chamesh kupot shel teven v'shel tvu'ah. I'm allowed to, lifanot means to move or to, to, remo- to remove. Even four or five kupot are basketfuls. I looked it up. Kupot are either heaps, piles, or, or baskets or large vessels. So, I looked, so it's either both. So I've got this huge pile of grain in my, in my warehouse, in my storehouse, in my barn. I want to move it because I want to. But, so I'm allowed to, am I allowed to move it on Shabbat? So if I have tevin, if I have straw, or tzvua of grain, I'm allowed to move it. Or if I want to make a move for my guests. Or for the sake of bitul beit midrash, meaning for the, for the neglect of the beit midrash, i.e., people want to use the space to learn. They, want to, they don't want to lose their, they want to lose their learning. They need more space. But not, I can't move the entire storehouse. Let's look at the Bartunur for a second. I'm allowed to move them, says the Bartunur. Im sarach lim koman. If I need their space, to, you know, to let guests stay there. To eat. Or the Tamidim, they need space in order to hear the drasha. But the Bartunur says, I'm only allowed to do it specifically if I need it for a dvar mitzvah. It's a lot of work to move all those basketfuls of grain. Okay? And Arba V'chamesh 4, 5, he says, Lavdavka, not specific. Ibai, I feel it too. If you need more, you should move more. The Gemara says, start low and then move up if you need more. Avaloa ta'otzar, but you cannot move the whole storehouse. Klomar, meaning. Obivachalo yigmar et ta'otzar kulo. You can't move the entire pile up down to the floor. Achi agila karka ito, until you can reach the ground. Why? Dilma ate le ashvuye gumo. Remember the ground, their ground of the barn or whatever was, was dirt. So maybe you'll come la ashvuye gumot means to straighten out, to straighten out little, you know, little hills, little piles. And that's, that's an isur based on chorish. It's an isur derabban, isur derabban, and it's a toldav chorish. It's, I think it's a deoraita even. It's a toldav chorish. It's deoraita. So that's what Misha said. You can move even four or five basketfuls, as many, or as many as you want of tevin, of straw, or of grain. Because for the guests, for the Bito Baby Drash, Avalot Arza, you can't do it completely. Now the Mishnah is going to go through a list of things that you can move, okay, and then a list of things you can't move. And in each case, the, the commentaries try to explain, why do I need to tell this? Isn't this obvious? So I'm just going to tell you, we're not going to read it probably most of it inside, but I'll tell you outside what the Gemara says based on the Kahati and the Bartunura. So finally, the Mishnah says, Mifanim Truma Tahora, I'm allowed to move, let's say I have an area of Truma Tahora. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm a Yisrael, I can't move it, but a coin can use it. Ooh, Demai. Demai, we learned in Mesechet Demai. Demai is produce that I bought from an Am Haaretz. And since I bought it from an Am Haaretz, I'm Choshesh. I'm not Choshesh that he took off Truma. He definitely took off Truma. But I'm afraid he didn't take off Maaser. And in the Maaser, it's Truma to Maaser. So the Rabbana made a Gzeira that I'm not allowed to eat. So the Rabbana made a Gzeira and they said that anytime you buy from an Am Haaretz, that's called Demai. And the Demai, you have to take off, you have to take off Maaserot and then give the Truma to Maaser to the Kohen. But, since it's a sapik to Rabbanan, because most Amei Haaretz do take off, therefore, if a person is an Ani, if he's poor, a person in Demai, if a person who's poor, he can, he's allowed to eat it. The poor are allowed to eat Demai without taking off Truma and Maser. So I could, theoretically, if I have Demai, I could theoretically be mafkir all of my possessions. I am now poor, and I could eat the Demai. Um rishon shenit la Truma. If I have Maser rishon that belongs to the Levi, and I took off Truma. So therefore, isn't that obvious? So the Gemara says, it's talking about What's called Hikdima Bashibolim. We'll take a look just quickly in the Bartunura. Kugon Shim Bek Dibi Hikdim Ben Levi. The Ben Levi came before Vilakacha Maaser Bishibolim. He took it before, while it was still in bundles on the fields, because it was not Chayav in Truma. Whatever, it's another explanation. It's a reason why Maaser Rishon Shinid La Truma. This crazy Maaser Rishon that, uh, that uh, the Levi didn't give Truma, you didn't give Truma, but Levi has to give Truma Maaser. Umaser sheni behegdish shenivdu, or maaser sheni. Remember, you have to take Yerushalayim or hegdish. You gave it to the Beit Hamikdash. Shenivdu, you redeemed it. Okay, and the Gemara says even if you didn't take off chomesh, the additional fifth, 
Nonetheless, since you redeemed it, it's usable for you and you're allowed to move it. It had turmus hayavesh. The turmus hayavesh is um, dried lupines. Why? Because poor people eat these lupines, a certain kind of, of, of legume. It's a, ba- a bean that they would eat. But Avalu, you cannot move tevel. Tevel is mukta. Tevel because tevel, nobody can eat it because it's, because it's, you didn't take off two moten masro. Even the coin can't eat it. Okay? Velo ma'aserishon shalom nidla trumato. Nor, let's move up. Nor can you move ma'aserishon whose trumor was not taken off. Velo ma'aser sheni vehegdish shalom niftu. Nor can you move ma'aser sheni and hegdish that were not redeemed. I, I don't have any use for it. It's hegdish. It belongs to Beit Amigdash. It's muksa. It's ma'aser sheni. I have to take it to Yerushalayim. I have to redeem it. Velo et aluf. Nor can I move aram. Okay? Velo et achardal. Nor can I use mustard plants. What's the problem? Luf, luf, arum is a kind of onion. Chada, you can't eat it now. It has to be, it has to be, you know, used, um, produced in some way. Shem Gamliel matir beluf. He he permits luf. Mivnei shehu ma'achal orvim, because it's a pet for it's it's food for your pet ravens. If you have ravens, I don't know why you'd have ravens, but it, the ravens do eat this arum. They eat this. They uh, they eat this luf, and therefore it has some use. And therefore, Shem Gamliel says you're permitted to move it on Shabbat. Okay, if you want to, you can look in the commentaries to understand. Each case, the Gemara says, what's Maaserishan Shalonit Natrumato? Why is that, uh, what, what kind of Maaserishan is that talking about? Because otherwise, obviously, why would I even need a mission to tell me Maaserishan that has Truma in it? You can't use it because you have to take off the Truma. So in each case, the Mishnah will give, the Gemara talk comes along, and the Artenura also, and the Kahati comes on and explains why the Mishnah had to give a Chit tell you in this specific case. If you want, you can look it up on your own. Uh, Otherwise, we'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, as always, we'll dedicate our learning to them. You can email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rabson Chabay Yisnach Have a great day.